Kyle, what about the offense today? What, what was it like pitching with so many runs? <laughs> Uh, you love good run support. That's uh, no doubt about that. Um, those guys did such a good job against Joe, who's been throwing the ball really well. He's had a great first half. Um, and to go out there and do that against him is uh, really impressive. So, um, you know, and they did it against everybody. This, this team, they don't take a bats off. And when we're rolling like that, um, it's a pretty hard lineup because you don't end up ever coming across a guy who's taking it a bat for granted, taking it to this situation for granted. So, um, you know, through the last pitch, those guys played really, really well, played great defense. And, um, you know, that's a fun uh, fun game to be a part of. Uh, what's the vibe like as you guys wrap up this first half? Um, you know, I think we, we kind of knew that we weren't playing our best baseball, you know, there the first couple games in New York for, you know, probably a 10-game stretch. And, um, you know, we just needed a little bit of reset. We needed a couple breaks to go our way. We needed... Um, you know, to put a couple games together and then to finish the break, you know, on a five-game winning streak. Um, you know, that changes, you know, everything going into the break, really, you know. Uh, you win a road trip, um, you, you split a series after losing the first two, and then you come into a division leader and you win a series and um, in a convincing fashion. And um, I think everybody feels really good about that going into the break. Um, you know, you feel like you get a turnaround and you get a whole lot more confidence coming into to the uh, home, home stand to start the second half. Yeah, this place means a lot. Uh, I got a chance to talk to Mike Ruth, the scout, um, one of the scouts who signed me back in 2009, you know, going to that draft room this morning. And um, I've always been appreciative of the Twins. You know, they took a chance on me in uh, really a sticky situation where I had a fractured forearm and um, everything kind of fell into place. So yesterday I took a couple extra minutes and went out early to watch Wellesley warm up and just kind of soak it up. And, um, who knows what's going to happen next year or the rest of my career. This might have been the last game I get a pitch here. So the chance to, to enjoy that, um, you know, I, I always love pitching in front of these fans. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's a pretty special place. We had a lot of life happen here. So um, a lot of good memories uh, and a lot of, a lot of family uh, milestones happen here. So to be a part of this today was a lot of fun. The media here was pretty hard on you for not striking out <laughs> of the batters. Uh, you said love the strikeouts today. Was that kind of your way of getting back at uh, You know what? <laughs> uh, you've seen a lot. I was just telling some of these guys, I've had months where I haven't struck out 11 guys in my career. So <laughs> to do it in one game uh, is always special. I think I still have just as many zero strikeout games as I do double digit strikeout games. So the media here uh, always had that right to get on me for not enough strikeouts. So uh, nothing to push in their face. Um, but uh, anytime I can get into the double digits, I'll take it. So, um, yeah, appreciate you writing nice articles about me, too, every time, every every now and again. So, well, The team has been in great shape in the wild card race all year. Now you hit the break just two games out of first. Is a division chase in play in the second half here? You know, I think um, I think it's always in play. You know, yeah, we were down seven or eight, whatever it was early on, but um, we know we still have games to play against Tampa. We know that they had played extremely good baseball. And, you know, you saw the 10-game stretch that we went through. They're kind of going through that right now. No team is immune to that. You know, I mentioned that to you guys after that last start in New York. No team is immune to a five-, six-game stretch where you lose and then a 10-game stretch where you're just not playing your best. And, um, you know, they, they've kind of gone through that stretch. And, you know, they'll end up turning it around. You know, it's going to be a, it'll be a tight one down the stretch. And, you know, thankfully, uh, you know, we timed this little five-game turnaround at the same time, and we were able to make up some ground going into the break.